Hey, this is Tyler with Thinkific, and in this video, I'm gonna share some tips to help you choose a topic for your online course. So if you're thinking of creating an online course, your starting point is generally to choose what you're going to teach. And this isn't a decision you wanna take lightly because there is a lot of courses online and there are people teaching pretty much any topic you can think of. So to stand out, you really need to pick the right topic for you to teach to a specific target audience. And I'm gonna share five tips to help you do that. Tip number one is to consider your skills and your passions. You wouldn't wanna teach something that you don't even have an interest in. So make a list of all of those things that you are interested in, that you're passionate about, that you could talk about all day long if somebody asked you about that topic. Tip number two is to consider your skills. So make a list of all the things that you've actually received training and have experience with. What did you go to school for? What kind of jobs have you had? What sort of uh, mentorship or coaching have you received? All of the things that you've actually uh, acquired skills and you wanna make a list of those as well and then have that side by side with your list of passions and interests. Tip number three is to consider your credentials. So what do you have the proof that you're an expert in? Do you have a degree in a certain area of expertise? Do you have accomplishments? Do you have awards? Have you been recognized for certain things? Have you been featured in publications or media? All of those things that prove that you are in fact an expert on your topic uh, or really help you to be positioned as somebody that can teach the topic that you're deciding to teach. Tip number four is to look for proven market demand. Now, if you see other people teaching the same topic that you wanna teach, that's actually a good thing. It means that there's demand for that topic. And that doesn't just have to be courses. If you see books that have been written about your topic, if you see uh, podcasts, blogs, conferences, online conferences, virtual summits, webinars, all of those different types of information. If there's already people out there teaching your topic and if people are paying for that information, that's a really good sign of market demand. So it's actually kind of a green light that you've chosen a topic that people are actually interested in learning. Tip number five is to pick a specific target audience. So even if you've, you know, you've gone through the first four exercises and you've honed in on a specific topic you're thinking of teaching, chances are that is now a broad topic. For example, social media marketing, very broad. Even Instagram marketing or Facebook marketing, still pretty broad. But if you attach those topics to a specific target audience, all of a sudden it becomes the go-to course for them. So instead of it being Instagram marketing for entrepreneurs, it's Instagram marketing for real estate agents or Instagram marketing for financial planners. It becomes really specific and that helps you your course instantly stand out for a target audience that, you're, that you've decided to teach. So those five tips, when you put those together, that's what we call a winning topic formula. And again, you're looking for a combination of your passions and your interests, your skills and your credentials, proven market demand, and a specific target audience. Put those things together and now you have a course topic that instantly stands out to the people that you wanna teach. Now this video was just one small section in a complete guide that we've created. And if you wanna download that guide to learn how to create and sell online courses, click on the link below.